Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream and today's video is going to be a little walk around the lake our house is called Lake Home so we're only two minutes by motorbike around the corner to these lakes so I'm going to do two live streams on this Sunday the 3rd of September two live streams one for the American audience and one for the British audience now Thai time it'll be seven o'clock in the morning so I'll put on the screen what time it is in like Midland America and then three o'clock in the afternoon for the English people and the reason why I'm going to do two on Sunday is because I've got a lot of questions and comments by the Americans and the English so I'm going to do two live streams on Sunday and the discussion is going to be about moving over here to Thailand uh, anybody that's just been following me has seen that I've helped a couple of people relocate from America to Thailand and um, we're just going to talk about that why people feel it's more safe to live in Thailand than it does in America and also the UK because the UK is heading in the same direction as America by the sounds of it so that's what the dis discussion is going to be talk about so if anybody's got any questions leave a comment down below and I can answer it to the best of my knowledge I would say the live stream is going to cover many many different things with regard to having a look at various ways of funding your assisted living over here in Thailand or whether you want to live alone and, and get help because the amount of questions that I've had over this is enormous emails and comments on my videos so it's obviously a popular subject so that's what we're going to do and it's not just Thailand that people can move to for a cheaper and better lifestyle what you need to do is have a look around the world and uh, find what is a cheap safe country to live in I mean I favour Thailand because I've lived here now for almost 12 years and I love it here and uh, also we're going to discuss remoteness remoteness some people feel that where I live in the countryside in Rayong is a little bit remote I don't feel that I mean how remote is remote I live five minutes drive from the beach about 15 minutes drive away from the, a big macro and uh, Tesco Lotus or Lotus as it is now and about 40 minutes away from a big city with as much shopping as you can imagine now in the UK if I wanted to live remote like that in the countryside wow the cost of actually living in the countryside is prohibitively expensive everything's much more expensive the houses the cost of living there fuel and things like that so living in the UK this was my dream to actually live in the countryside you know away from big cities and things like that and I've achieved my dream when I live many people have seen my house look at this this is just around the corner from me is the lakes there's about three lakes here and people go fishing I'm mean, a look at that view and if I wanted this in the UK it would cost a small fortune I would not be able to live in the countryside in the UK I don't like cities I wouldn't like to live in the city I like the peace and calm and tranquility this gives me the traffic is very very low it's just a wonderful area to live in so for those people who are thinking about moving to Thailand have something in your mind as to how far is remote because I live in the countryside and there are many people who are coming here or want to have a look around this area is it really for you remote living or do you want to live in the city where there's a lot more going on if you're into entertainment and things like that the city is probably a better option when you first come here but once you settle down here I found that most people would like to move away from the madness and move into a quieter lifestyle I moved into a quieter lifestyle after two years in Jomtia and I love it here I sing its praises there are plenty of nice houses for rent for between 10 and 15,000 baht a month what could you get in your country for that amount of money? 